Hi, uh, I'm really excited today because I'm holding probably my favorite Sony prime lens ever made. And that's the Sony 35 millimeter 1.4 G master lens. Eat it, eat it. This video is not sponsored by Sony. They did send over the 35 millimeter 1.4 for me to play with. And I've been playing with it for a few weeks now, almost a month, and I freaking love it. It's so good. Like no exaggeration, I really, really like this lens. The build quality is superb as you'd expect from a G Master lens. The lens construction is weather sealed, so it can definitely take it to harsh environments. Has a smooth focus ring if you want to do some manual focusing. Has an aperture ring just behind it. It can go from f1.4 to f16 and it's clickable. Right there on the side is a click switch and so if you change your aperture values and you want to hear the clicks then this is what it sounds like. But if you want to change your aperture values more smoothly and a, a little quieter, then uh, just de-click it. And now you can change your aperture values quieter. And of course you have your autofocus manual focus switch as well as the extra function button on the side of the lens. Now being that it's a lens that shoot at f1.4, like this lens performs really well in low light, especially when paired with the Sony a7S III. I actually went downtown to shoot some nighttime stuff with the 35 millimeter lens. And I almost wish I brought my ND filter because I was shooting at ISO 12,800 and it was still way too bright. Like I had to crank up the shutter speed to, to compensate. Like I wanted to shoot consistently at F1.4, but when you're shooting at that low of an aperture and you're shooting at ISO 12,800 on the A7S III, it was a little too bright for me. And so I had to compensate the exposure by like increasing the shutter speed. But overall, the low light performance of this lens is obviously great. You know what's crazy? I live in Texas, but come wintertime, it's freaking cold. Ooh. Right now I'm filming with the A7C and the lens that I'm using is a 16 to 35G master lens, but the aperture on this lens is f2.8. The background of course should be a little bit blurry. I'm looking at the screen and uh, yeah, it has pretty good bokeh, but just wait till I use this lens and shoot at f1.4. All right, so now I have the 35 millimeter lens attached at f1.4 and whoa, look at that background. Wow, well there you go. That is the 35 millimeter at 1.4. Here, let me, let me do a walk up. Yeah, looks good. All right, I'm gonna do a Jason Vong autofocus test. Hold on. <laughs> as far as overall usability of this lens, like, it's great. I don't really have any complaints about this lens at all. Like it's almost a near perfect prime lens. And I love the weight of this lens. Like it feels just right. It's not too light or too heavy and actually balances well with my A7S III and even the Sony A7C. Now, if you're wondering, this lens is very similar to Sony's 24 millimeter 1.4 G Master lens. Even the size and weight of it seems pretty similar. Although the 35 mil is a little bit heavier and a little bit taller, but if you put them side by side, like you can't really tell the difference between the two really. Now, I do love the Sony 24 millimeter, but I love the 35 millimeter much, much more. In fact, I've said in my previous videos, like the 35 millimeter focal length is my favorite focal length ever. It's not too wide, it's not too tight, it's just right. And when you're shooting your subject at just the right distance, like at about two feet, the bokeh that it renders and the overall image quality just looks so beautiful. And the fact that the 35 millimeter is a longer focal length than the 24, you're gonna have a more compressed background, which I personally much prefer. But as far as which lens is better, I mean, that's gonna be really all up to you. If you do want a wider focal length, then hey, 24 mil is your guy or girl, could be a girl. But I personally love the look of 35 millimeters. And so I, I much prefer this lens. <laughs> Now this lens can be pretty much for anybody, especially if you want to shoot something sharp with that nice blurry background. I wouldn't use this lens to like vlog with, mainly because it's not wide enough to vlog with, but for like specialty types of shots or B-roll shots, this lens is amazing if you want to shoot cinematic quality images. All right, let's talk numbers. This lens will run you 1400 US dollars and that might break the bank for some of you, but honestly, it's, it's well worth the price. Like I know there are other third-party lenses that offer a more affordable option, but honestly, 
sometimes some of those lenses don't really communicate well with Sony mirrorless camera bodies. You know, like some copies are different than other copies, even though they're made from the same brand. It's just, you know what I'm talking about. But with G Master lenses, obviously it's going to be optimal when using it with a Sony mirrorless camera body. I'm not saying anything bad about third party lenses. I'm just saying there's a bit of inconsistencies happening. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Huge thanks to Sony for sending over the 35 millimeter 1.4 G Master lens, my favorite prime lens that they've ever made. I freaking love it. And if you wanna check it out for yourself, then links will be down below. I mean, come on, like, look at that background. It's just <laughs> it's so good. All right, guys, well, if you have any questions about this lens, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. But thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thumbs up, subscribe, and all those good things down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.